Today we're going to take a look at prime and composite numbers. Read that with me. Read that again. Composite. Composite. Say it again. So you've got prime and we've got composite numbers. To be able to understand what prime and composite numbers are, we're going to have to understand this term called factors and the factors of a number. And then so if we've got Let's just go ahead and let, write down some math facts here. If we got 3 times 5 equaling 15, are there other facts that we can come up with that equal 15? That equals 15. If we can find the factors of 15, what are other facts? 1 times 15 is also equal to 15. Let's see, 3, 5. So we've got the numbers 1, 3, and 5, and 15 as our factors of 15, of our factors of 15. And then so if we look at this here, and we look at our multiplication problem, each of these multiplication problems right here, these are called factors. 3 is a factor, 5 is a factor. As a, another side, what's 15? That's 15 is called the product. So that's why if we have the factors for 15, that's why 1, 3, 5, 15 are the factors of 15. You'll notice I listed those factors in order. Let me go ahead and show you another way to figure out those factors of this number here of 24. Um, for the factors, no, 1 in itself are always factors of a number. And then so what I said is 1 in itself are always factors of a number. So 1 goes with what for factors for 24? 1 goes with 24. And I'm going to list that way out there. Because remember, we're going to have to list our factors in order. Our factors in order. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go from 1, and I'm going to go to 2. Is 24 divisible by 2? And the answer to that is yes. What is the corresponding factor that goes with 2 for 24? 2 times what is 24? He answered, hopefully he answered, 12. 12. And then we'll go ahead and continue up from there. 1, 2, then 3. Is 24 divisible by 3? The answer to that is yes. 3 goes with what? As a factor for 24, 3 goes with 8. And as you see here, we're getting closer and closer together. Getting closer and closer together. Then we'll check the number 4. 4. 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And then so... 4 and 6 are factors of 24. So if we think about that again, 4 times 6 does equal 24. Remember, with our multiplication problem, each of those was already called a factor. The only other number that we didn't check there was 5, but 24 is not divisible by 5, so I have our factors of 24. Count up the number of factors that I figured out for 24. Did you come up with 8? We had 8 factors of 24. We had 8 factors of 24. 24 is what we call a composite number. Composite number. And a composite number is a number that has more than 2 factors. Composite numbers, more than 2 factors. And I'll come back to that on the next screen when I give you some vocabulary for you to go ahead and jot down. All right, so I have two definitions for you. I have two definitions for you, one for a prime number, one for a prime number, and one for a composite number. Ideally, you have already written it down. If you haven't, go ahead and hit pause and write those down for me. Go ahead and read it again. A prime number is a number with exactly two factors. Go ahead and read that composite number, definition for a composite number, Composite number is a number with more than two factors. Write those two things down for yourself next to somewhere around where it is you write down the vocabulary, and I'll explain those to you in a little bit. <laughs> what we had in there was the number 0 and the number 1, and we crossed those out because 0 and 1 are neither prime nor composite. They are neither prime nor composite.
All right, go ahead and make this table in this chart for yourself. We've got 0 or 1, which are neither. Remember, they are neither prime nor composite. And then we're going to go ahead and list some prime numbers and some composite numbers. Okay, so we go from 0 to 1, and we're thinking we're going to talk about whole numbers. We're talking about whole numbers, and our whole numbers there. So we got 0, 1, those are whole numbers like 1 and a half, 1 1.5, 2.3, 2.7, Those are not whole numbers. 5 and a half is not a whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. are whole numbers. And we can classify these whole numbers, we can sort them by putting them either prime or composite. Remember, a prime number is a number with exactly two factors, whereas a composite number is a number with more than two factors. So we think about that next number, 2. Is that prime or composite? Are there any numbers that we can multiply together to get 2 besides 1 in itself? The answer to that is no. So we can go ahead and put prime right there for 2 is a prime number. You think about 3 and 4, and place them in the appropriate spot, please. Put them in the appropriate spot. We're going to put them here for a prime number of composite number. Think again about how many factors they have. Remember, a prime number has two factors, whereas a composite number has more than two. More than two. More than two. So, where do we put what? We put 3 as a prime number and 4 as a composite because the factors of 4 are 2, 1, and also 4. 1, 2, and 4. It had 3 factors, which is more than 2. Think about 5, 6, and 7 and put them in the appropriate spot. Five. Did you put it on as a prime or did you put it as a composite? Hmm. Six. Did you put it as a prime or did you put it as a composite? Seven. Did you put it as a prime or a composite? We listed five here. Ideally, you listed six here and then you listed seven here. Go ahead and continue all the way up to 30, sorting those out as either being prime or composite. Hit pause right here, figure it up to 30 as prime or composite, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Up to 30 as primer composite. Where did you sort out each of those? One at a time. What I did is I listed out those prime numbers that I know. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 as being prime. And then I went about listing some of those composite numbers. And then I'm going to eventually run out of room here, but I will try and fit in as many as I can. Those numbers that weren't prime are going to be composite. So for instance, if we looked at the number 21, we already know that 3 is a factor of 21, or 20 is already divisible by 4. 4 is a factor of it, so we're going to have more than two factors. Or 22, hey, that's 11 times 2 is 22, so we've got four factors for 22, so it is a composite number. And just like that, I'm going to run out of room, but... If you were a great student, you would have listed 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And again, 29 is a prime number because it has only two factors. There are no numbers that we can multiply together. Besides, one in itself to get 29, just as 23. Read the primes with me. Chant. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. And even if he went up even further, I only asked him to go to 30. It would have been 31. You'll notice one thing right here with the prime numbers. Look at these numbers right here. Point to all of those that you see there that are even. Point to all of those that you see there that are even numbers. Right. 2 is our only even prime number number. That means if a number is divisible by 2, 
Okay, if it's not 2, then it's going to be a composite number like 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 that you listed, etc., etc. And so you got that 2 there is the only even prime number. All right, it is time for your test. Go ahead and make yourself a T-chart for prime and for composite. Make yourself a T-chart for prime and for composite. First thing on your test is go ahead and list me the factors for the number 5. List me the factors for the number 5. List me the factors for 12. List me the factors for 13. 5, 12, and 13. List me those factors. Go ahead and hit pause. Ideally, you came up with the factors of 5 as 1 and 5. Factors of 12, remember we list them in order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And for 13, 1 and 13. Next thing that I want you to do is to go ahead and put those numbers as either prime or composite. And those numbers that I just circled, 5, 12, and 13, sort them out as being either prime or composite. Ideally, you put 5 as being a prime number, 12 as being a composite number, and 13 as being a prime number. Please go ahead and sort out these three on your own. We got the numbers 6, 9, and 29. Sort them out on your own. Think, think, think. Ideally, you put 9 over here as being a composite number. You also put 6 here as a composite number. Remember, the only even prime number is 2. 29, there is only 1 and 29. Can multi multiply it by itself? That's why it's a prime number, exactly two factors. Remember, it's exactly two factors where this was more than two factors. More than two factors. Last thing for the test. Last thing for the test. Need the test. What you're going to do for this one here is you're going to list all the prime numbers, all the prime numbers, up to 50. All the prime numbers up to 50. Go, list all the prime numbers up to 50. And remember, if a number is not prime, it is composite. Go ahead and pause the video again. Remember, this is a test, so don't cheat. Pause that video. All right, what did you come up with those for those prime numbers up to 50? What did you come up with? Ideally, you came up with these numbers that are listed right here. Those are the numbers there. One of the numbers you might have come up with by accident is 33. You know that 33 is divisible by 3. 3 times 11 is 33, so that's why that is a composite number and not a prime number. Another number that you might have written down was 49 might have forgotten that 7 times 7 is 49, so we got 1 times 7. I'm sorry, that's 1, 7, and 49 as the factors of 49, so that it had 3 factors, so it could not have been prime. And remember, the only even prime number is 2, correct. Thanks for joining us today.